Okay, so there's a lot of things that a babysitter is supposed to do. Like, for example, take care of you, make sure you're feeling all right. But making sure that you take a shower and then showering with you is something that a babysitter shouldn't do. And honestly, we'll get more into it. But before that happens, make sure you guys press that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do and honestly changes my life and the channel. But other than that, let's just jump straight into this insane story. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to a really embarrassing story. So so today's story all takes place back when I was in grade 8. And in grade 8, I'm not gonna lie, I was a really stubborn kid. So stubborn to the point where my parents really did not like taking care of me and they ended up leaving me with a babysitter. Now, I knew this babysitter already. She's babysat for me before. I'm not, and I'm not gonna lie to you, she was just some basic 17 year old that would just take care of me. And I remember one time she ended up coming over after my parents both had to go on a work trip together. And basically she ended up having to stay for three days. Now, I remember when she first came, she kind of just looked at me and shrugged but at the same time she was 17 so as a teenager i'm gonna be real with you i don't think teenagers should actually be babysitters like i feel like teenagers are not good babysitters at all because they're still hitting puberty and as a kid you're hitting puberty and two people hitting puberty together and going through really weird things together is not a good idea to make one of them in charge but going on though she was a lot older than me and she basically was supposed to babysit me so i remember when she first came in she just like i said looked at me and went to go on her phone and basically talk to all her friends as for me, well, the only thing I knew how to do back when I was in grade 8 was to play video games. So I ended up going upstairs, playing on my Xbox 360, and just sat there playing games the entire time. Now, I remember throughout these three days, she would only check on me like once a day, and she would not feed me, she would not do anything, and to be honest, she acted like I wasn't even there half of the time. Like, for example, when I came downstairs to get like a granola bar or anything to eat, she would just look at me and just shrug and then just go back to being on her phone. It's actually mind-blowing how often people can stay on their phones for and how long they can stay on their phones for because it is severely toxic now i remember it got to a point where it was on the third day and on the third day i remember she ended up basically like kind of started i guess getting worried about me and me i was just in my room yelling and swearing like you know a bunch of slurs at people on call of duty black ops 2 yeah i was one of those people and let's be real here back in 2014 things were a lot different with everyone being so well, i mean soft i guess and basically i remember as i was like yelling and stuff over the xbox microphone at people People online out of nowhere i remember my babysitter ends up coming up the stairs and saying bro why are you being so loud like can't you be any louder i'm in the middle of a game still like just be quiet baba like you can't just be yelling all the time and i remember as she was yelling at me she ended up taking a big sniff of my room and she noticed how it was a mess in there like there were banana peels everywhere there were wrappers there were like mcdonald's cups because she got super lazy to make actual food so she ordered mcdonald's for me babysitter of the year eh, maybe i don't know mcdonald's is convincing but going on and she saw basically how my room was an absolute mess so i remember as i was playing games she ended up basically starting to clean my room and she was cleaning my room and kept yelling at me over and over and then i remember as one time she ended up walking past me and she took a big whiff of my head and she noticed that i smelled worse than the boys locker room i smelled terrible like it got to the point where i'm not gonna lie to you my hair was super greasy i was super disgusting and to be honest, like my hands, like they felt gross. Me at the time, since I was in grade eight, I didn't really care for my hygiene. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like it got to points where in my gaming life, I would even like just pee in a bottle. Like I've gotten to that point. If you haven't peed in a bottle, are you really a gamer? Anyways, going on with the story, I remember basically she noticed that I smelled really bad and she looked at me and said, Bubba, take a shower. You can't tell me what to do. Uh, Bubba, yeah, I can. I'm your babysitter. Now go take a shower. No, I don't want to. Bubba, I'm serious. This is not a joke go take a shower or I'll make you. What do you mean you'll make me? At that point, she ended up going downstairs and unplugging the internet. And at that point, I was mad. Like, I am not joking, guys. Like, I was so upset to the point where I remember I walked up to her and said, oh yeah, why don't you take a shower? You smell bad too, loser. And this is where the story gets really, really awkward. Because I remember me and her, what ends up happening is that she ends up grabbing my wrist and dragging me to the bathroom. She drags me to the bathroom. She ends up basically forcing me to hop into the shower. And I'm like, fine, I'll take a shower. But like I said earlier, I was a really stubborn kid. So what ended up happening was I ended up sitting down on my toilet and I basically started playing video games. I just sat down and started playing games on my phone. It's crazy on how many devices you can play video games on nowadays. I remember when I was playing games on my phone, she ended up like leaving for like 20 minutes. But when she came back, she ended up hearing through the door that I was just playing Angry Birds. And she got so upset to the point where she walks into the bathroom and says, that's it. That's it. You're taking a shower. I didn't know what she was going to do. Cause like what? She's just going to throw me in there naked. Like she's not 
not allowed to do that. And this babysitter ended up finding my weakness. My weakness to go into the shower. She ended up basically taking off all her clothes in front of me in the bathroom. And she ended up hopping into her shower herself and says, Bubba, this is the one time you get to go into the shower with a girl. Decide if you want to go into it now or later. And at that moment, I'm not going to lie to you. I was convinced. I ended up basically taking off my clothes and also going into the shower. And basically, she ended up taking a shower with me. It's crazy how much fun we were having. Like, it's really cool to, like, have someone to, like, rub your back and, like, you know, reach the spots that you can never reach. And also do a bunch of other things because, yes, we ended up doing the devil's tango because she noticed how I got bricked. Yeah, my eggplant got bricked. It's no surprise. But going on, I remember we were in there for, like, more than an hour and we were wasting a lot of water. But since it was the third day, my parents ended up coming home that day and they came home pretty early when me and her were in the shower still. And this is where the story gets really, really embarrassing because right as me and her get out of the shower, put on our towels and start heading towards my room to get our clothes on, my parents saw me and her come out of the bathroom with the towels on and uh yeah let's just say she got a big talking to and i'm not gonna lie showering with someone was a really good experience but showering with your babysitter maybe was not the smartest thing i ever did anyways guys that is basically it for today's embarrassing story make sure you guys press that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like i always say follow for more embarrassing stories just like this one peace out guys